Alright, cool. Oh, hey! Welcome to the Boogie and Barbecue Awards! Yay! Yay! Okay, so our first award for this evening is Best Kids Game. And our nominees are Control, published by Pandasaurus Games, designed by Giulio E. Nazario. King of Tokyo, Dark Edition, published by ELO, designed by Richard Garfield. Mariposas, published by Alderac Entertainment <clears throat> Group, designed by Elizabeth Hargrave, artwork by Indy Maverick and Matt Parquette. And My City by Cosmos Games, designed by Ryan Knizia. An artwork by Michael Menzel. And our final nominee is Zombie Teens Evolution, published by Scorpion Mask, designed by Annick Lovett, artwork by Nikau and Remy Tornior. <laughs> like, I'm sure that's how you pronounce it. That's pretty close. Okay, are we ready? And the winner is... <laughs> Zombie Kids. Zombie Teens Evolution, sorry. <laughs> I push back down too much. There we go. Ah, okay, cool. Published by Scorpion Mask, designed by Annick Labette, and artwork by Nikau Remy Tornion. Well done, Zombie Teens Evolution. Scorpion Mask can't be, can't be here this evening, so we'd like to accept this on their behalf. And next we have Best Family Game. Our nominees are Calico, published by Flackard Games, designed by Kevin Russ, artwork by Beth Sobel. And Coaddle, published by Synapses Games, designed by Etienne Dubois Roy and Pascal Brassard, artwork by Silly Jelly. Next we have King of Tokyo Dark Edition, published by Elio, designed by Richard Garfield. Trek in the World, published by Underdog Games, designed by Charlie Blink. Artwork by Saba Banath, Sebastian Kozner, Marts Denecker, and Alexi Shirokik. And last, we have Zombie Teens Evolution. Published by Scorpion Mask, designed by Annick Lobay. Artwork by Nikau Remy Tornil. Go okay, on for Steve. and the winner is... Uh, no surprises here. Best Family Game winner goes to Calico... Published by Flat Out Games, designed by Heaven Ross and Beth Sobel, Beth Sobel Artwork. Uh, so, Flat Out Games couldn't be here tonight, so we're accepting this award on their behalf. Next up, we have Best Party Game, and our nominees are Blood on the Clock Tower, published by the Pandemonium Institute, designed by Stephen Medway, and artwork by Michaela Dawn and John Van Fleet. And the next one is Crossed Words, published by Indie Boards and Cards, designed by Evan David and Nick Little. Next is Trial by Trolley, published by Skybound Games, designed by Scott Hauser. And the next one, Truffle Shuffle, published by Alderac Entertainment Group. Designed by Molly Johnson, Robert Melvin, Sean Stankwich. Artwork by Dylan Mangini. And last, Trust Me, I'm a Doctor. Published by Half Monster Games. Designed by Jack Ford Morgan. And the winner is... It is Blood on the Clock Tower. Published by the Pandemonium Institute. Designed by Stephen Medway. And artwork by Michaelia Dodd and John Van Fleet. Institute couldn't be here tonight, but they've left this message for us. Hi all, uh, my name is Stephen. I'm the designer of Blood in the Clock Tower. 
And I just had the pleasant experience of receiving in my inbox the information that Blood on the Clock Tower has received the uh, best party game of 2020 by the board game barbecue cast and crew and community and fans. And this is uh, this is great news. Uh, this um, made me feel really, really good. I'm really happy that this has happened and I want to send a, th a shout out to Sarah and Steve as the organizers of um, Board Game Barbecue but especially to especially to the fans uh, especially to you and not because you like Blood on the Clock Tower because I read something on the Board Game Barbecue website which I'd like to read out now um, we are a group of dedicated Australians who love board games. We found each other through this wonderful hobby and connected because of our desire to share our passion with others. On our podcast, we discuss our favourite games and aim to help listeners find the next game to add to their collection. We look at board games with the enthusiasm of the child inside us and take pride in speaking our minds. The Board Game Barbecue Podcast, we're addicts, not experts. Uh, I think this is important um, but also really wonderful because one of the reasons that I like board games is because it does e exactly what you said it um, you it allows you to see things through the eye through the eyes of a child with the world has a sense of otherworldliness a sense of magic a sense of wonder to it and board games are a great way to get in touch with that with that feeling with that um, way of looking at the world uh, the second reason I really like this from your from your website is that you've mentioned people and the importance of connection and people coming together. And one of the the main reason really that I designed Blood on the Clock Tower was to provide that type of experience for myself and my friends and for uh, anyone who wanted it. So to have a board games group that is dedicated to a childlike sense of wonder in in the hobby and I'm assuming in the world in general, but also that is focused on bringing people together and having fun with each other and sharing a passion with each other. Um, I think, I think uh, that board games are about people is their strength and being reminded of that is, is, is a wonderful thing. So uh, congratulations to uh, everyone involved in the board game barbecue uh, group and the best of luck for your convention that's coming up in May. Uh, I don't know when, but I don't know when in May, but I know it's in May. I'm sure it'll be a big hit. And uh, after the last sort of 12 months of not having a not having a lot of fun social things to do, I think it's going to be a blast, enjoyed by everyone, and I uh, hope it all goes well. Uh, thank you very much again for the award, and good luck in the next month or so. Next up is Best Artwork, and the nominees are Ether Fields, published by Wagon Roms, designed by Michael Raz, artwork by Ewa Labak, Michael Salara, Piotr Gacek. Next is Oceans, published by North Star Games, designed by Nick Bentley, Dominic Capuche, Ben Goldman, Brian O'Neill, artwork by Guillermo Duco and Catherine Hamilton. Town Garden, published by Fenderglyph Games, Designed by Francesco Testini, Pierluca Zizzi. Artwork by Matthew Mizek. Next up, Tidal Blades, Heroes of the Reef. Pu published by Druid City Games. Designed by Tim Eisner and Ben Eisner. Artwork by Lena Cosette and David Forrest. And Wingspan, Oceania Expansion. Published by Stonemaier Games and designed by Elizabeth Hargrave. Artwork by Ana Maria Mart Martinez Jaramillo, Natalia Rojas and Beth Sobel. And the winner is... Etherfields, published by Awaken Realms, designed by Mikhail Orax. <laughs> Artwork by Iwa Labak, Michael Salada, and Quadrid Gasset. The artists behind Etherfields couldn't be here tonight, but we'll accept the award on their behalf.
Now we'll be presenting the best light game category, and the nominees are Calico, published by Flat Out Games, designed by Kevin Russ, artwork by Beth Sobel. Chai, published by Steeped Games, designed by Dan Kazmaier and Connie Kazmaier, artwork by Mary Hasdyke and Sahana VJ. Marvel Splendor, published by Space Cowboys, designed by Mark Andre. Uh, My City, published by Cosmos, designed by Rainer Knizia, and artwork by Michael Menzel. Super Fantasy Brawl, published by Mythic Games, designed by Joe Chen Eisenhardt, artwork by Stephanie Gantiez, Johannes Helgeson, Helgeson, Bayard Wu, and Freck Zielinski. And the winner is... The winner is... Calico, published by Flat Out Games, designed by yeah. Kevin Russ, artwork by Beth Soda. Uh, Flat Out Games are unable to be here tonight, so we will accept this award on their behalf. And the best medium weight nominees are Dune Imperium, published by Dire Wolf, designed by Paul Denon, artwork by Clay Brooks, Raul Ramos, and Nate Storm. Next is Fort, published by Leader Games, designed by Grant Rodic, artwork by Kyle Ferron. Gloomhaven, Jaws of the Lion, published by Seth Lefair Games, designed by Isaac Childress, with artwork done by Francesca Baldero. David Demeret and Alexander Elchev. Next is Lost Ruins of Arnak, published by Czech Games Edition, designed by Elwin Min, artwork by Jin Kus, Onre Herdina, Jacob Polzar, Franciszek Sedlesik, and Milan Vavron. Under Falling Skies, published by Czech Games Edition, designed by Thomas L. Elia, artwork by Quan Chik, Morea, and Peter Bahaki. So next is Viscounts of the West Kingdom, published by Garfield Games, designed by Shem Phillips and S.J. McDonald, artwork by D'Amico. You do your nice, mate. Thank you. And the winner is... of the medium... Gloomhaven, Jaws of the Lion, published by Sulphur Games, Lion Bites, Isaac Chibbles. Seth Lafair Games couldn't be with us tonight, so we're accepting this award on their behalf. Next up, we've got our best heavy game, and the nominees are Imperial Struggle, published by GMT Games, designed by Ananda Gupta, Jason Matthews, artwork by Terry Leeds. Kanban EV, published by Eagle Griffin Games, designed by Vitala Serda, artwork by Ian O'Toole. On Mars, published by Eagle Griffin Games, designed by Vitala Serda, artwork by Ian O'Toole. And Tekenu, Obelisk of the Sun, Published by Board and Dice, designed by Daniela Tassini and David Turzi. Artwork by Jakub Faitanowski, Michael Dugas, Zbigniew Ugmelter, and Alexander Zawada. And the winner is. <laughs> On Mars. Published by Eagle Griffin Games, designed by Vitaly Serra, artwork by Emma Kruh. Eagle Griffin Games are unable to be with us tonight, but we'll accept this award on their behalf. Next up is Best Expansion. First up is Aeons and Outcasts, published by Indie Boards and Cards, designed by Sidney Engelstein, Nick Little, and Kevin Riley, artwork by Gong Studios. Next is Everdell Spirecrest, published by Starling Games, designed by James A. Wilson, artwork by Andrew Bosley and Dan May. Next is Root, the Underworld Expansion, 
published by Leader Games, designed by Patrick Leader and Cole Worley, artwork by Carl Ferrin. Next is Wingspan Oceana Expansion, published by Stonemaier Games, designed by Elizabeth Hargrave, artwork by Anna Maria Martinez Yaramillo, Natia Rojas, and Beth Sobel. Sobel. You can do the honors, mate. And the winner is. Uh, the winner is Wingspan Oceana Expansion, published by Stonemaier Games, designed by Elizabeth Hargrave. The crew behind Wingspan Oceana Expansion couldn't be here tonight, but they left a lovely message to say their thanks. Hey, this is Jamie with Stonemaier Games, and I just wanted to say how honored I am and everyone at Stonemaier Games and Elizabeth Hargrave, designer of Wingspan, is to receive the Board Games Barbecue Award for Best Expansion in 2020 means a lot to us that we could bring an expansion to you in Australia and New Zealand of birds that you recognize in your own backyards, in your own environments, and we are happy and honored that you would present us with this award. Thank you so much. The final award for tonight is Game of the Year. First nomination is Dune Imperium, published by Direwolf, designed by Paul Denon, artwork by Clay Brooks, Raul Ramos, and Nate Storm. And next up is Dwellings of Eldervale, published by Breaking Games, designed by Luke Laurie, artwork by Sergio Chavez, Anton Vadiv, Lisha Hannigan, Irina Kuzmina, and six more. Gloomhaven, Jaws of the Lion, published by Seth Lafair Games, designed by Isaac Childress, artwork by Francesca Beraldi, David Damaret, and Alexander Ilyshev. And On Mars, published by Eagle Griffin Games, designed by Vitala Serta, and artwork by Ian O'Toole. And finally, Under Falling Skies, published by Czech Games Edition, designed by Thomas Ula, artwork by Kwancha Maria and Peter Vahacek. And the winner... It's a tie! What? <laughs> this is crazy. It's a tie between Gloomhaven, Jaws of the Lion, published by Self Repair Games, designed by Isaac Childress, artwork by Francesca Geraldi, David Demer, and Alexander Olichev, and On Mars, published by Eagle Griffin Games, designed by Charles Serta, and artwork by Ian O'Toole. One of the tie winners, Eagle Griffin Games, um, couldn't be here tonight, so we're accepting this award on their behalf. Sephal Affair couldn't be here tonight to accept this award, so we are accepting it on their behalf. Thank you for watching the Board Game Barbecue Awards, and now it's time to get back to actual gaming. So get out of here, guys, it's my turn. <laughs>